How do you write formal English and what are the differences between formal and informal English? Hi folks, it's Mr. Edicus and in today's video I'm going to talk about formality. I'm going to give you three tips on how you can improve your formality in your writing. Now my third tip is the easiest way to achieve more formal language. So stay tuned until the end so that you know what that tip is. So, what is the difference between formal and informal English? There's a very long range between informal and formal English, and it goes from street language to the Queen's English. Formal English has a very serious tone, and it sounds more serious. It's also more objective and a bit more analytical. It's also very polite. You don't speak in slang language when you want to be very formal and polite to people. It also doesn't use contractions, so you don't say things like doesn't, you say do not or does not, and you don't say can't, you say cannot. Formal English also uses more difficult and more formal words, and if you want to know all of them, have a look at the academic word lists, which are words that appear very often in academic writing. Now, this video is not about how to write formal letters, and we're not going to talk about formality in formal letters. We're going to talk about formality in academic papers, or essays, or maybe a bit more formal reviews. Now, the first way to improve your formality is to avoid speaking in the first person. And this means that you don't use sentences like, I think, or I have researched, or in this research I will look at. And by doing this, you increase the objectivity of your writing. You want to describe what you're writing, and you want to do this objectively. And this means that you need to avoid putting your opinions or your own voice in your writing. And avoiding using the I is a very good way to do this. Let's review some sentences. Take, for example, the simple sentence, I'm going to analyze my phone. You can also say something like, this review aims to analyze the features of this particular phone. Another example is the sentence, I will look at the link between exposure and language acquisition. You can rewrite the sentence into something like, this essay aims to analyze the links between language learning and exposure. Now the second thing you need to do when you're writing formally is avoiding writing in a way like you're speaking to someone. So you want to avoid writing chattily. Now it does require a lot of practice and concentration because you've probably learned how to play with your language in such a way that you sound more like a native speaker. Sometimes you need to change the entire sentence to get the same message across without sounding very informal. Now one way to achieve this is by using more complex sentences and I have a video on sentence structure so make sure that you check that one out so that you know which other sentence structures you can use in your formal writing. So let's compare a few sentences and these are actual sentences by my own students and I changed them in such a way that they became a bit more formal. As a vegetarian you would need to get these vitamins from other sources. Vegetarians would need to get these vitamins from other sources. So I avoid sounding like I'm speaking to someone by avoiding using you. However, it can be replaced by a good plant-based diet, so it's not that big of a deal. However, it can be replaced by a good plant-based diet, so the lack of meat protein should be of no concern. So I took out the, so it's not that big of a deal, and replaced it by something that's basically saying the same thing, but then in a more formal way. We all know that we have to cut down our carbon footprint. There is a consensus that cutting down the carbon footprint is a priority for today's and upcoming generations. So I took out the, we all know, and changed it into something like, there is a consensus, which kind of means the same thing, or at least gets the same message across. That means that the population of New Zealand will become vegetarians, but is it healthy? It can be questioned whether the compulsory change in diet is a healthy change for New Zealanders. So I changed the playful question at the end with something like it is questionable. And it's kind of the same thing, but then in a more formal way. Now, this tip is actually the easiest way to achieve both tips 1 and tips 2. And using the passive voice is the way to go. 
I have a video on the passive in which I describe what it is and how you can change active sentences to passive sentences. So if you need more information on the passive, check that video out. So basically the passive is a form of writing in which the subject of the sentence is not the agent in the sentence. Let's compare these three sentences. The researchers found that people who exercise three times a week are healthier than people who exercise once a week. People who exercise three times a week were found to be healthier than people who exercise once a week. Now I took out the subject of the sentence, the researchers found, and changed it in the passive voice. And you notice that the second sentence is way more formal than the first sentence. They had already researched this in 2010, but they decided to do this again this year. This had already been researched in 2010, but the same research was conducted again earlier in 2021. They will finish the book next month. The book will be finished next month. So you notice that the active sentences are a bit easier to read and maybe a bit easier to understand, but the passive sentences are more formal and they sound a bit more academic as well, right? So that's basically it. Those were my three tips on how to write more formally. If you found this useful, don't forget to give it a like because that really helps the YouTube algorithm post this video in other places as well. Maybe you want to subscribe to stay tuned for my other videos in the Writing Essentials series. And let me know in the comment section, what are you writing about today? Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.